go get him again. Welcome back to the Robes Away channel. I'm your host, Mark. And today's video is on the brand of DS and Durga and their fragrance called Amber Totonic. Now this is supposed to be a unboxing first impression video. Um, not going to be unboxed. It's a tester. It came in a plain white box. I'm sure you don't want to see that. Um, and it's not a first impression because I did a sampling samples back in July of 2023. So a few months back in the summer and uh, tested out this fragrance and now I have a bottle. So off the strength of that sample, this fragrance made it onto my collection. I wanted to collect a lot of uh, DS and Durga fragrances and I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos on this brand in my channel but it, it is a fragrance that i think i got in the nick of time because the scent is now officially discontinued from the brand i'm happy to have it in my collection and it's still available at some stores trying to get rid of of course their old stock so it's getting phased out but it's a good time to get it if you are interested in this fragrance or you've been on the edge just letting you know um, if you're interested and there is some discounters out there that have this fragrance at retail or a little below retail so pretty good deals as, as far as this fragrance goes you may find it phased out somewhere in a boutique where they're knocking down the price of this so they can get it off their shelves but today i'm going to give you a a quick first sniff remind me of the scent and get into it as per all unboxings and first impression videos even though it's neither one of but uh, it's official I like to officially introduce a fragrance into my channel and into my collection it goes behind me now with the rest of them um, basically waiting for a more robust review um, so if i remember correctly this reminded me a little bit of a fragrance that i absolutely love which was by rados tobacco mandarin um, they both utilize mandarin in a really unique way in a really robust fragrance dark fragrance but the mandarin kind of stands out and this one i remember kind of sappy very green the juice is very much green and that's interesting when you look at the name amber usually amber based fragrances and amber is a orange hue and you'll see a lot of juices, they, they put coloring in to make sure that it is that orange dark hue um, to remind you that this is a syrupy fragrance. This one really emphasizes on the green. So let's see if uh, my memory serves me right. It is going to be my scent of the day today, maybe over spring, because I remember this being a very strong fragrance. I brought one of my, uh, my strips here uh, just to smell it off the strip if I need to in this video. So let's sniff it out. And yeah, it's, it's a big, bold fragrance. It's a gorgeous fragrance. And honestly, it's one of their standouts. And from the sampling, I, I think I like it more now out of the bottle. Because what it is, is it, it's, a, it's a Mandarin note that is surrounded by lots of greens, a lot of spices, a lot of woods. Um, you got that pine, um, you do have tree sap, you have leaves, you got foliage on the ground. Um, it's fall, um, the pine cones are on the floor, you can smell them. Uh, and it really does remind me of Tobacco Mandarin from Byredo, which is super expensive. It's like 300 Canadian or even $400 Canadian. So Byredo's tobacco, not the same. The use of Mandarin is the exact same. Um, not the same type of scent though. Both, both those scents give uh, a little bit of citrus, but it's a, it's really well done. Like it's beautiful. There's a little camphorous feel in here. Now the sweetness, of course, from the amber glow reminds me of tree sap, pine cones. Um, that's where I'm going with this, very much green. It reminds me of conifers. It's green, it's resinous, it's a little dirty. You know, it's fall or it's spring, rainy. Um, tree sap, pine cones on the floor, on, on, on the ground. Um, there is some earthiness in here. It's sticky, there's woods, wet woods, bark, um, wet pine cones. Very artistic as a scent, very bold up top. It's not for everybody, definitely not. Very art artistic, very green, and the juice uh, really, I'm, I'm really, I want to applaud the brand because really it's easy to just make amber, put amber, and it is, it has some amber in here, but the greens take over, and the juice kind of shows that, that it's, the conifers are really out there, the, the, the pine, there's some cedar in here, but 
very, very artistic and very green. So very happy. I don't know if this match, matched my sampling samples video, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty close. Um, I'm, I'm blown away as I was back then. Happy I got 50 mils is gonna do me good. And yeah, it really comes off very green off the strip. Um, you're not getting much, if any, of the ambery, the sappiness. You're getting a lot more yeah, I'm getting a lot more off my skin here. This is very much pine needle vibe. Musky. And there's a little bit of that spice. There's cardamom in here. And here, oh yeah, the ambers out, the greens, uh, the conifers, the resins, a little dirty, a little earthy, a lot more three-dimensional as a fragrance. Beautiful. And I think... You know, I, I don't know, in sampling samples, I was kind of thinking, you know, this may hit my top five. It may just squeak out of my top five of DS and Durga. Um, I'm starting to, now that I got the bottle and off the strength of this video, this may be top five. And I think it would be hard pressed to take it out of the top five. This is actually really, really good. Love this one. Very happy I got it. Very artistic though, a little bold up top. Um, it's not your typical ambery scent that a lot of like amber is a oversaturated uh, genre. And uh, to be unique, and this this is very unique that the amber is utilized. Would I say it's primary? No, the greens are primary. The amber is just the bed. And even then, the bed is kind of more earthy. You know, you're, you're getting the pine cones. You're, you, you know, it's a, it's a section of it because you, there's that tree sap. And that's where that amber is, because of everything that's in here. The amber has a syrupy glow and a lot of fragrances, very sweet. Um, here, it really is going sappy. Like it's going with the theme, beautiful, uh, artistic, Beautiful, great fragrance from DS and Durga. Now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. Have you purchased this? Um, have you seen my sampling samples and came back and you, you have a bottle now? That'd be nice um, just for us to interact. But other than that, um, an excellent, excellent scent. And yes, definitely in the comments below, you can write whatever you want. If you hate this fragrance, I could see why some people that are newer to the game or they were looking for a real amber-based fragrance, they didn't get it here. I could see that, uh, but I'd love to see those comments below. And as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.